Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s and my name is Tammy. We're doing the third and final song for the night and um, we're just it's going to be another ZZ Top tune and this one's just going to be a good one to lay our heads down to tonight and we'll have it on our minds maybe for days but um, it's just so bluesy and um, I just love the blues especially when I'm um, ready to go to bed. I just love that kind of music. So uh, this request is going to be for my friend and co-worker Mary Jo and I thought this might pick her up a little bit. Um, I know she was feeling a little bluesy today so um, Mary Jo this one's for you and um, so everything's going to be alright girl so we're just going to get right to the song. We're going to go back to 1973 and we're going to play ZZ Top's tune called Jesus Just Left Chicago. stop this song for a second because it's not as long as I thought it was either <clears throat> so I can't go too far <laughs> anyway when this song starts out I don't know if anybody else agrees with me but and you may not know this song because if you didn't have the album or the 8 track or anything you may not know it because it wasn't like a hit hit but it sounds like to me the beginning of the song Night Prowler on ACDC um, when Bon Scott um, was in the band so if if you want to just go check it out, um, go see if you hear the same thing I do. Um, it's just kind of cool, but that's what song, if I was to play Name That Tune and this song would come on, or a few notes of it, um, I would think it was one or the other of these two songs, because they sound so much alike in the beginning, I think. Kind of like one key off or something, or one note or whatever you call it off, but it's still got the same like little beat, just that bluesy little beat. So that was kind of my reaction to it too. Um, I don't really, I don't really know what to think about this song. I, I don't know to think about it in a spiritual way, um, or to think about it in just something that was going on in Chicago. <laughs> so I really don't have a uh, a reaction to it other than I just love the bluesy music to it, and that's really um, all I've really paid a whole lot of attention to in the song um, when I've heard it before. So. Anyway, we're just going to get right back to it. We're doing um, this request for Mary Jo, my friend and co-worker. We're doing the 1973 uh, Jesus Just Left Chicago, which is a ZZ Top tune.
another great one from ZZ Top too. <laughs> it's the thing about it, from all the requests that we had, I don't want to miss any of them of the requests that we have because they're all good songs. So I'm trying to get them all out here. So um, <clears throat> we may not have to listen to Yes or ZZ Top for a while after uh, we get finished here. But then again, it's kind of making me want to hear more of them. <laughs> so I don't know. It just depends on which way you your music box wants to go. But let's see what they have to say about the song here. Um, this was off their Trace Hombres album. And it says, Billy Gibbons, Gibbons said he got the idea for this song. <laughs> when he was a teenager. He had a friend who was known as R.B. Jr., R&B Jr., who had lots of strange sayings in his lexicon, which I guess is his brain, maybe? I don't really know. Um, one day, Billy was talking to him on the phone when he just blurted out, Jesus just left Chicago. <laughs> so that's how he got um, the name for or the title for this song. Okay, and it says, although Jesus just left Chicago isn't exactly a hymn, but it does have spiritual dimension, adhering to a strict blues format. And Gibbons is actually known as Reverend Billy Gibbons. Huh. Cool, I never thought about that. I have heard that before, um, but not like all the time. So I'd forgotten that they call him that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I enjoyed tonight playing the ZZ Top, and yes, so I hope you guys did too. And if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. I think by tomorrow afternoon, or, or by Friday anyway, we'll, we should be at 900 subscribers or better. Um, so we're getting there. I mean, we've gotten a hundred, little, little less than a hundred this past month, but you know, just... I hope this next month goes as fast and we get to that thousand. So I want to thank everybody for subscribing um, to the channel. But just subscribe if you like the channel. If it's not something that you're interested in, um, you know, don't you don't just don't subscribe. But subscribe if you like rock and roll and you want to join our little rock and roll family. Um, and just hit that post notification bell, and then you won't miss a video. But be sure to hit like underneath the video if you like the video because that keeps the algorithm going. And right next to it is share, so you can share it with your friends um, on Facebook and Instagram and wherever. Um, but be sure to tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day also. And we're going to go for the evening. We'll see you guys back on tomorrow night, if fate allows. And peace out.